so hey guys here in this video we are going to be looking at this result that which is related to the time constant of any two conductors in a non-ideal dielectric which has some resistivity rho so first let's directly get into the uh, result and then we'll uh, make, uh, take a proof of this the uh, time constant of any two conductors in a dielectric of resistivity rho and relative permittivity uh, perm permeability k is rc equals to rho k epsilon naught so it is a, a pretty nice result and uh, very general so if you really want to try this uh, try proving this you should do it now so uh, now let's directly look at the proof so first uh, let's prove that the value of rc for any general uh, case involving two conductors uh, in a medium is constant and then showing that its time constant uh, it is the time constant is not a big deal so let's assume any two general conductors in a medium as def defined above uh, having charge plus q and minus q so now here let's consider any electric field line going from a plus q conductor to the minus q conductor as shown in here here e is the net electric field net electric field means that it is the effective uh, electric field of the uh, due to the conductors and that due to the induced charges so from here uh, this here e is shown like this so the potential difference between these two conductors can be shown as v will be equals to e dot dl from plus q to minus q i haven't cared much about the signs here but you can see that here it works out and another thing we can see and i am doing this uh, only to find the capacitance uh, and then i'll find uh, equivalent resistance in a way and then we will try to relate them so uh, th this is the first thing i found out now let's consider a gaussian surface enclosing the charge plus q conductor as shown so here uh, i've assumed this green circle to be the gaussian surface so from here uh, the electric flux which is e dot ds should be equals to q by epsilon naught but here it is in a medium of uh, relative permittivity k so it will be, be uh, divided by k epsilon naught and so uh, the q charge q can be written as q equals to k epsilon naught times surface integral e dot ds and surface integral e dot ds represents the flux just as i said so from here uh, as we found the charge and the potential difference between them, we can define the capacitance of the system as capacitance will be charge upon uh, the potential difference and it will be equal to q k epsilon naught surface integral e dot ds over e dot dl from plus q to minus q. Now, uh, this is one part and we found the capacitance. Now, uh, let's try to find the equivalent resistance. Now, as the medium will also conduct some electricity which can be given as I equals to integral j dot ds, where j is the surface cha uh, uh, charge density per un uh, charge per unit area, which is the surface charge density, and j can be written as sigma times e vector, uh, which is a very common uh, result. So from here we can write it as current will be uh, closed uh, surface integral of sigma dot uh, e dot ds. So from here the equivalent resistance can be written as the potential difference over the current and this uh, this will be this value which is integral of e dot dl from plus q to minus q over integral of uh, sigma e ds so from here we found the equivalent resistance and the capacitance so from here if we multiply these two values we can clearly see that uh, terms can uh, quite a few of the terms cancel out and we get a constant values which is shown here so from here the r equivalent times c comes out to be constant value which is a rho k epsilon naught so now uh, this is uh, one part of the proof we proved that this is uh, this will be constant and it will be equal to rho k epsilon naught now let's prove that this will be the time constant of the system so now let's see how th this is the time constant for this arrangement so we know that uh, the current i will be equal to dq by dt which can be written as v by r equivalent and uh, v can be written as q over c so from here we get that i equals to q by r equivalent times c so from here separating the variables and integrating uh, we can we get this and on integrating we get q, a small q which is the charge at any time t can be written as capital q which is the initial charge times e to the power minus t by r equivalent times c which is a very uh, common format and uh, which uh, happens uh, which you, uh, you, uh, you might have seen in many of the cases of nuclear decay and in this too so from here we can see that the time constant will be tau will be equals to uh, tau equals to r equivalent times c so from here this is the uh, complete proof so from here we proved that 
the time constant for this circuit will uh, in any medium uh, will be uh, rho k epsilon naught and hence the result is proved now we shall see how it can be applied in different problems and in different places so one of the very common examples i have shown here so the first is uh, very first or the only one i have shown in this video the first is very common question which you might have faced in many of the je test uh, your weekly tests and is also there in erodo and pathfinder it's the pathfinder mcq question number 13 from the chapter electric current electricity uh, uh, do look at it once uh, before looking here so from here uh, the question was uh, two identical conducting spheres each of radius a as uh, placed at center to center separation D which is very very greater than the their radii and they are kept in homogeneous medium of permittivity epsilon uh, epsilon and resistivity rho which of the following is a correct expression for the resistance between them so now uh, there are uh, a f uh, many uh, a few d a different ways given in um, our different solutions so but uh, uh, one of the solutions also comes from here very simply if we know this result that rc e equals to rho k epsilon naught so from here first of all we calculate the capacitance as we need to find the equivalent resistance so from here if we calculate the capacitance we get that uh, and first of all these two are very uh, largely separated and let's assume that i have a charge of plus q and minus q so the uh, potential difference between them will be equal to 2 times kq by the radius its radius and here uh, as it is in a medium of, of uh, permittivity epsilon naught epsilon i have used here epsilon instead of epsilon naught so from here delta v will be equals to uh, 2 k, uh, q by 4 pi epsilon a and uh, uh, capacitance will be q by delta v which will be, will be equals to capacitance equal to 2 pi epsilon a and substituting this in uh, rc equals to rho epsilon uh, k epsilon naught can be written as epsilon so from here r equivalent will be rho, rho epsilon over capacitance which, which will be finally give us the result of rho by 2 pi a and this simplifies the calculation uh, uh, to a lot of extent and if you know the result it's always very great and similarly it can be applied in many different places depending upon the case so yeah hope you all like the video and please like share and subscribe thank you